Hi folks, remember that gas cap video we did about a month ago? Let's show just how easy it is that we can model that up in Fusion 360. Welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. The way we're going to model this is similar to how we did the night vision adapter. And we're not going to be layering up, but rather we're going to be profiling and rotating. Let's take a look. So we've got a new sketch here in Fusion. Hit L for line. And we're actually going to sketch on this plane right here. So if you look, the sky is sort of pointing along this way. And we're going to come up, um, you know, just like so. Just create your sketch. Uh, follow along. And then now hit the D key. And that was 1.5 inch radius. And the whole thing was 0.5 inches thick. And this angle from here to here was 135. This was 0.2. That gives us our profile. Now if we go to Create Revolve, Profile, just click here. Axis, click there. <laughs> There's our shape. Awesome. That's the rough shape at least. We'll create that cavity in the center. Hit C actually for center diameter circle. Click on this face. 1.5 inches, actually I think it's 1.75. Uh, Q for push pull, press pull, and I'll just click on it, type negative 0.1. That was chamfered, so modify chamfer, click on that, and we'll say 0.03. And that is the rough shape. Folks, how quick is that? Seriously, how quick is that? Now we do some pockets around the side. Let's tackle those. So L for line. Now, I want to actually sketch on the plane that is up here. So don't click in the middle here because it'll be too low. Click here and we can drag a line straight down and see it snaps to the edge of the circle. Perfect. And then what we can do, click here and just drag anywhere over here again snapping to. Now I'll hit the D key, dimension between these two. 45 degrees. Next, we'll go to Sketch, Arc, Center Point Arc. Click on the center point, and it looks a little bit hard to follow, but we're gonna click right here, and then this is gonna create an arc along this profile right there. We're gonna do the same thing for the inside edge. Just click somewhere, it'll say it's one inch down, and click over to here. There we go. Do that for now. Let's see here. I'd like to, I'd like to change that. So double click there and type 1.25. No, that's too much. 1.125 looks good. Now we don't want these extra lines here, so we can trim this stuff away. So what you've got here, it'll be easier to see this way, is four lines: two along the edges and then two semicircles. We'll now hit Q to press pull, click on both of these, and we'll just type negative 0.3. There's our rough cavity. What we've got to fill in it, inside edge there, inside edge here, 0.18, coming right along. And we will create a pattern of those. Pattern circular, objects, do, 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 do. And axis will be along the center, and we'll change it to six. Now that's almost it, but if you remember, we actually had little radiuses on the inside of those pockets, or I guess on the inside of the outside edge as well. Now that's, again, hard? No. But um, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how I figured out how to do it. So we're going to do the same thing with L for line. And we'll click on this pocket here. Zoom in. I'm going to drag a line up 0.1875. Okay. So now I've got a line right here. I don't know why it's giving me that error. And what we're going to do also is a curve over 1.1875. So I'll do sketch arc. Center point arc, I'll click on the center, start there, and I'm just going to actually go all the way over here, further than I need to, but if we hit the D key, 
we can then dimension from here to there as 0.1875. And then I'll go back and choose again arc. This time I'll do three point arc. And I'll just choose this point, that point, and now I can control my radius either by moving the mouse in or we could dimension it if we wanted to. So now we can do Q for press pull, select our little widget, and we'll extrude it up 0.3 inches. Now the problem is that we've got this extra piece laying over here. So we'll solve that in a second. First, let's get this thing um, duplicated over here. And I'm gonna do that by doing a construct midplane. I'll click here. And I've got a little bit left right here that I can click on. And sure enough, we get a midplane. So create mirror, objects to mirror will be this. I think we just need to select, I think that's enough to try. And then the mirror plane will be here. Let's see if we can get it. Yep. Okay. Now I don't want to see that plane anymore. So under construction here, I can uncheck the box that hides it. Now, how do we get rid of these extra bit? You guys tell me, there's probably a better way, but I'm gonna actually redo a exterior profile revolve cut. So I'm gonna hit L for line again, and we're gonna go back and sketch basically on that same plane that we started. So let's click here, here. I'll go a little bit past, not gonna hurt anything. Go all the way up. Oop. Way up and connect it back. Create, revolve, choose my profile, choose my axis, and we will instead do cut from this, it probably defaulted to new body or join, but we'll have it do it as a cut. Click OK. <laughs> Where are they? Right here. Now again, I don't know if that's the right CAD etiquette or not, but it's one of my things where I don't really care because guess what? We got it done. And if we do a create pattern, well, here we're gonna delete our pattern. See what that does to us. That's fine. And we need our pattern to be before the cut, I think. So now we can do create pattern, circular pattern. There we go. There's our gas cap in Fusion 360, folks. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.